Okay, so here we are in uh, August uh, 12th, and I thought I'd do another uh, update on the Kia Sedona SXL. Uh, it's rumbling and thundering clear around me here right now, so I'm going to try to do this video as quick as possible. She's pretty dark. Ooh, some light in too. But anyway, I had a recall come in on this vehicle. And it was for the rear power sliding doors. Something to do with the module programming update or something like that. So <clears throat> it, I took it, I actually, they came and picked it up at my house and they actually took it up and uh, went over the whole vehicle from bumper to bumper. And uh, like I said, this is covered for uh, six years warranty. So they cover everything on this vehicle. Now, so they went over everything, and there was not a problem with the vehicle. Uh, ball joints, tire rod ends, struts, shocks, sway bar mounts, sway bars, nothing was wrong with this vehicle. Now we're going on three years with this vehicle, and I haven't put a dime into it. Uh, just paying the payments. This is probably one of the best vans that I ever, ever had in my life. Now, I'm not a van guy like you guys know in my previous videos, and uh, I, I, like, I wouldn't have one unless I really, really needed it. So, uh, this is probably, if I had to stay with a minivan, this would be the van I would stay with. I would definitely go with the Kia Sedona SXL. Now, they went to, uh, like I had some seats in the back. Let's open it up. Now I have five kids, and as you can see, the van is exceptionally clean. Uh, the seats are have been just treated, leather cleaner. I use that Meguiar's cleaner at right down there in the door, and I use the wipes. It's the most sufficient way of doing it. Um, as you can see in the back, nice and clean. Uh, now, the only problems I really had with the vehicle, uh, like I said, was just the, uh, you know, the recall, which was on these doors, and apparently the recall was for when the door was stopping, uh, apparently there was too much pressure, so when it closes, it will jam you in there, apparently there's a lot of pressure there, it can hurt a child, so, uh, that was the recall, so they program the computer in it again and it was good to go. I've never had a problem with the doors on it. They open and close perfectly. All the rubbers and seals and gaskets, everything is awesome. Boy, that's, that's getting close, you guys. It didn't catch you some lightning. There's the wall club. Some rain coming down over there. It's gonna rain here any minute, so I think I'll get this review done as quick as possible. I thought we'd get you a quick shot of lightning. Can you hear the thunder, you guys? It's pretty bad. We're under a severe thunderstorm warning right now. Yeah, she is tremendous. So anyways, uh, the seats were squeaking a little bit. And uh, they fixed all the squeaking. There was no more squeaking coming back out of the seats when it came back to me. So that's a positive note, I guess. As you can see, it's the SXL. Let's open it up. Look inside. So Let's put this down. I guess I can't with one hand. 
So as you can see, it's nice and clean back here. The vehicle stays fairly clean. I take care of my stuff. I clean all my vehicles by myself. And uh, you know, a quick wipe down with a wet cloth. And that's all I do. You know, I, I have some black magic or uh, leather cleaner there. Or not leather cleaner, but it's a uh, vinyl cleaner. I wipe everything down with that. I don't do the dash. I just do the vinyl, as you can see here on the sides. Um, everything black, it's vinyl. I use I use the leather cleaner on the leather, and the rest of it's just wiped down with a damp cloth. So uh, I got some bags and stuff back here right now, and some washer fluid. But uh, I never had a problem with this vehicle, you guys. Let me get this to 